the work for me is always about how you grow the internal capability of organisations. Um, and I think we're trying to do that more collectively. I've always thought that, you know, when I, people ask me about what my job is, set clear organisational direction. What's the strategy we're chasing? Um, secondly, grow the capability to achieve it. Because perfect strategy, no capability, that's not, a, that's not what you want. And capability without a sense of what it's for won't get you there either. And the third thing is to um, manage and grow the relationships that are going to make you successful. So what's your licence to operate? It can be anything from you know, managing political risk and boards through to an articulation with a broad set of stakeholders. You know, our, I don't think there's anything that the transport agency does that it does alone. You know, it does most things in partnership with somebody else, construction industry, local government, blah, 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 blah. So I spend a lot of my time working on making those relationships work effectively and to get our staff to think about it in a relationship sense. And that's the essence of it. Well, I think sometimes it can be wrong to jump to a discussion about values. Agencies struggle with it, a lot of people struggle with it. But if you start with behaviours, right, mm -hmm. what behaviours do we need mm -hmm. to support what we're trying to do mm -hmm. here? Um, you, you can start there and you can get something really useful. You can also allow that to mature so you can start with something that's really relevant yeah. right now and understand that that's going to change as the agency yeah. matures and its strategy, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. And then people don't get hung up yeah. on whether, you know, on the values things. A lot of people struggle with it, right? Mm -hmm. Whereas I think you let the behaviors mature to support the strategy. Mm -hmm. It's not value, it doesn't have to be value laden in the same way. And eventually the values kind of drop out of it yeah. almost effortlessly. Culture change, it's all about behaviour, it's not about values, attitudes, belief. Yeah, It's about how you behave around here, how your staff, the behaviours your staff reflex at work. The first point I'd make is it's actually about the behaviours you need to succeed, not the behaviours you want. Mm -hmm. So you can wander around a, a lot of organisations, especially government organisations, you see all the stuff up on the wall, you know, we're going to be a great place to work. We're going to be warm, loving and caring, you know. Uh, we're going to be the most family friendly place on, on the planet. Well, actually, you know, what behaviours do you need in your organisation to deliver the mission of the enterprise? What business are you in? What behaviours do you, do you need to succeed? I've come into an organisation that does some things really well and so the challenge is going from good to great. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it's about taking your people with you on that journey, uh, respecting the past, respecting everything that we've done that's got us to the point of being good, uh, while still stretching to the future and thinking about what next, how do we keep building on our strengths and how do we embrace some of what's happening in the world so that we actually do become and stay a relevant organisation for New Zealand in the 21st century. And I think for IR, one of the strengths that we've uh, developed over the past 10 years is that understanding of our core purpose. Uh, and every time we go back to rethink about our future, we start from that basic understanding of the value that we add for all New Zealanders. And our people really buy into that. Uh, we've also continued to involve them as we've redeveloped the strategy every few years. So quite an inclusive process that asks the organisation where they see the future. Uh, and they're the people that talk to our customers every day. So they've got a really good insight into what makes a difference for New Zealanders and where the future lies. Uh, there's a very, very simple piece of advice that I, I think I would always give, and that is you have got to put people at the centre of everything that you do. If you think you can analyse your way to a solution, you are wrong. If you imagine that you can deliver effective interventions into our communities at the front line uh, without putting your people who are doing those interventions at the heart of your thinking and what you do, uh, you are not going to be serving the public of New Zealand. So resolutely, you have got to put people at the centre of what you do.